for oh we're live <laughs> we're live do you yeah. think good morning good afternoon good evening we're live and it's tuesday and it's actually raining today quite heavily you want to be in the east, on the east east coast mate snowing <laughs> <laughs> good morning yeah. chris yeah all good mate how are you uh good mate um getting there yeah um what have I been doing other than uh, the other stuff? Um, I've been doing a lot, really, other than catch up, refocusing of what is what I've been doing. Actually, mm. I'm just reshooting the uh, uh, video course for the uh, Facebook course that I've got. Yeah. So I'm just redoing that at the moment and um, mucking about, but just really trying to get more focused, Chris. That's the main thing, you know. Yeah. And um, you know, after the shit that we've been through, I mean, you know, you, you yours, and me, with mine. You know, get get all the pity party out of the way and get on with life. You know, and start That's living it. it a bit. Cracking you know, up, and, and I've learned, yeah, and I've learned the lesson as well. Is you know, um, you know, let's let's just get on with people and, and do the best. And if you don't get on with someone, then just move on, but don't don't have a go at them and stuff like that. You know, and hold grudges because you know there's nothing worse than families and grudges. You know, there's nothing worse than families and bloody conflict anyway. But you know, you know, we we've all got to get on this business. You know, and if we're in the martial arts business or just on the online business or whatever it is. You know, just you know, just don't don't hold the baggage. You know, if you can help somebody, help them for nothing. Because the good thing is, if you help people for free, it will come back and pay you tenfold. Mm -hmm. You know, and I did that the other day with some lad who phoned me up, and I just and, and maybe something will come of it, maybe something won't. But he just asked me my, my advice, freely gave it. You know, but but what I've written there today is, do you have what it takes to be successful? Okay. And the reason that's there is because I forgot to take it down from last Thursday. <laughs> so, so today's live is uh, <laughs> business simple. Yeah, so I hope everyone enjoyed that because uh, we're getting old. <laughs> it's, a bit of honesty, it's a bit of honesty. There's far yeah. too many people out there bullshit in pretending that everything's perfect and that I'm afraid life isn't perfect. So I think yeah. fronting up and saying, actually, I made a mistake, it's fine and dandy. And that's the same yeah. Really busy. Sure yeah. That. Yeah. Let's get some light out. Yeah. So anyway, so let's crack on. Um, what, what are we talking about today? Right. So we're talking about the back end stuff. Um, we're talking about this idea that we're, we're obviously all out there. We're looking for business. We're looking for new students. We're looking to grow our revenues. We're looking for all of these things, whether it be, you know, doing your retail marketing. So your internal stuff. So you're doing your retail, getting people on courses, um, you know, your your seminars, your workshops and all that kind of stuff when things are open and you're able to do these. And then you've got your external marketing. So you're looking for the new students. You're looking to get people involved. Hopefully by now you're looking at getting people off your online course, getting a bit of membership going for your online stuff as well as your live stuff as things are going. But what about the back end? Because one of the things that's happening at the moment is hopefully if you're anything like the guys that we, we're working with, you're getting a lot of inquiries because everything is shut. Whereas you're still able to to deliver your service online you're still doing your your classes you're still doing all the stuff because you've you know you've got your stuff together and you're still cracking on you're still serving so you're still getting inquiries what do you do with them people often get inquiries and go oh well i can't fit that one or i can't do this or i can't do that they'll get a lead in and don't do anything with it so we're just talking about the follow-up what do you do what's the back end yeah because so because i was watching a video on uh, on youtube the other day but from an internet marketer and he was saying that one of the biggest problem is that you know people get into online marketing and they focus too much on the sale you know too quickly too often which is the most important part of getting them getting revenue in the door obviously you know it makes makes perfect sense but they don't realize that the money's in the list and we've said this isn't something new that we've, we've come up with but it is a fact that if you've got a list of people who are qualified leads, regardless of what sort of level they are and where they are, you know, in the in the grand scheme of the, the roadway, then whether they're walking on the path, they're in the slow lane or in the fast lane, you need to actually have those people on a list and somewhere where you can actually follow up for them. And the problem I, I see and we've seen in the martial arts industry for so many years, well, not just in the martial arts industry, it's just in general, if you're selling a service, yeah, if you're selling a service or a product, you know, we focus on the sale too quickly when instead of building not just the relationship, but also building up the list in the back end, that's actually something you can refer back to at some point 
daily or weekly, you know, it should, it should be going into some sort of autoresponder where you're sending them emails, you're sending them follow-ups, you're sending them information, they're learning about you. They might not be ready to buy yet. That's where we're focusing on. We've always, funny, funny thing is, we've always focused on this, but you, if you, you know, you, you're just focusing on the person. Guys, don't focus on the person who's ready to sign up now. Focus on the ones who want some more information as well as. You'll, you'll pick up the ones who are ready to buy. If your system's right, Chris, yeah, totally. And you've got the right you've got the right message on your website or your landing page. Mm-hmm. You know, hopefully your landing page. Don't use your website <laughs> <laughs> for sales. There should be some sales there, but just don't use it. Okay, use use a lead magnet and use a page. Anyway, so sales page. Um, you'll mop those up anyway, but get the ones who aren't who uh, are, aren't sure. And well, this is what we're talking about. about or haven't we you know where it's like you've got the five percent at the top which is the little tiny piece of the marketplace which most people unfortunately aim for i mean that's really difficult target practice to find the five percent that's ready right this minute and then you've got 45 percent, which is quite a big chunk of the marketplace which is going to take up to 90 days to make mm. any kind of decision you know they want to build trust they want to build a relationship and then you've got the next 50 percent after that who may or may not ever do anything Okay, so think about that. Nice one. Yeah. But think about that. You know, it's that kind of what are you doing over the next 90 days? What stories are you telling? What information are you giving out? What are you talking about in general? Or are you just saying, buy my stuff, buy my stuff, buy my stuff? Because I'm afraid that is a really boring message and people don't want to hear it. Mm. So you've got to do something else. So what is it? And it's the back end. And this is where you have to give a furk. Okay, this is my new thing. You have to give a furk. <laughs> F-E-R-C. Really simple. (laughs) FB message, so Facebook message. Email, okay, to follow up and and do all the things you can do with email. Remind. Just remind people that you're there, okay, and then convert. Mm. Okay? FERC. Give a FERC. Now, just because (laughs) I've moved down to Devon, all of a sudden I've got an accent. (laughs) So it is F-E-R-C. Just do those four things. And it's kind of like, oh, yeah, I just need to remind people. Oh, yeah, I just need to follow up. Oh, yeah, I can send them a message. And oh, yeah, at some point I can convert them because they'll ask you. They'll literally say, how can I get involved if you've done the job right? You don't have to, yeah. you know, nail them into a corner and go, right, <laughs> <laughs> you're having this. <laughs> you know, how can I get involved? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> So sign up today. <laughs> or, yeah. <laughs> Something stupid going on. So run through FERC again, because I'm sure the guys <laughs> want to know what this is. <laughs> this is serious. I, that's all you do. Before you do, though, me and Chris were talking earlier, and I'm chatting to him about stuff. And he's, he's looking like this, and he's writing, I thought, what's he bloody, is he listening to me? And he went, FERC day. <laughs> 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 and and if you're tuning in now and you wonder what FERC is, okay, and why we're laughing, this is serious. Write this down. Chris? So basically, it's all you're thinking is it's four things. It's really, really simple, okay? So you've yeah. got your Facebook messaging. So Facebook message people just to let them know, hi, thanks for your inquiry. Oh, I saw you looked at my stuff. You've liked our page or you made an inquiry, whatever it might be. Facebook message, just, just give them something from Facebook to follow it up and and ask them to go here or go there or like this or do this. Email, get them on your email list so that you can email them with some information. And obviously, if you're doing the funnels like we've been talking about, hopefully they're getting something free off you. Remind, remind people that you're there. So telling your stories, doing your videos, doing all of that kind of stuff. And then at the end of the day, convert. When they say to you, oh, how can I get involved with your online course with your real-time school you can go well this is what you do and they'll go oh lovely thank you very much where do i sign that's it well let's Perfect. well let's well let's go through what was number three again for the r you said again remind so yeah, remind yeah. that's the stuff where you're telling your story you know you're doing your little videos because... and it's not necessarily about the sale but just about what's going on so that well, people can relationship yeah remind yeah absolutely yeah and relating to them as well because i was thinking about that as well it reminds yeah. me is the key to all of this stuff i'm just going to go through uh some of the what the guy's saying uh, yeah giving value uh that's t-shirt, t-shirt. <laughs> yes oh hang on that was uh that one this one's this one today 
<laughs> laptop CEO. I haven't got this is a conversation actually but very briefly about launching products and should you launch um, your product before it's finished or whatever, you know. Uh, well not before it's finished, but should you do that stuff? You know, we've got a we got a love. And uh yes, you should in a sense, because if you if you're running a course, just very briefly, because then we'll come back to, to the furking obvious. Um, if you're running a course and you and you can launch it any time, even if you just got a welcome video on video number one, because you can drip them down, you know. Uh, over the days, weeks, months, whatever. So you can keep continually putting that out. And you can have a, a continuously running course if it's a paid for one. You, know, you can do that. That makes perfect sense. But anyway, there was some conversation going on and Andrew was in the conversation and Andrew said about launching imperfectly and he said, I've learned that from someone and I just saw the conversation. I said, ha ha, yeah, me. And then but somebody re replied to him and said something like, um, oh, that sounds a bit do dangerous to me or dodgy ground, something like that. Well, you know, whatever, you've still got to do it. And I learned that from somebody who's done seven figures online. So whatever, whatever. Um, so yeah, so no, it's not the t-shirt, Andrew, but it's in the wash. <laughs> okay, Firkin, love it. And uh, I'd buy, buy a Firkin t-shirt. I, I think that's actually we're onto something. FERC, straight yeah. across the front, mate. We need yeah. one. Yeah, because we should, we've got to add a bit of fun into and a bit of frivolity into, um, you know, the trying times we're in anyway. So... <laughs> <laughs> we have some teachers that I give a fuck. Okay. <clears throat> yeah. And we'll have Facebook email remind course. And people think, what the hell are you talking about? <laughs> so, so there you go. So Facebook. So let's just, just dive through these very, uh, one at a time. The Facebook side of it, obviously <clears throat> everyone's caught up in the Facebook ad side of things, but you need to keep chucking money at those. And if you don't continually throw money into your ads and you're using your Facebook pixel, you're not going to get the, the, the information back that Facebook wants to give you from the yeah. results that you're getting through your ads and your click-through rates and all that stuff and your, yeah. and your return on, on ad spend, which is the end result you need to focus on. And it is a complex thing. Even I don't do much Facebook, much in the way of Facebook ads, but it is an important part of your mix. But the big part that's missing is the organic side of it. And the organic side of it is the continually posting and uh, reminding people who you are and having a daily schedule of different different subjects that you can talk to people and get them to relate to. And all of the guys that I'm coaching at the moment are using the Facebook organic side of marketing and they're all getting their schedules together. Some have, some have just gone, you know, uh, OCD on it. Um, but I'm so you, if, but when you look at their Facebook pages and the insights, Chris, you're seeing, you're seeing the engagement and the reach uh, jump in 100, 200, 300, 400, 1,000 th percent on some of them. You know, just through just through that, and also page likes. Get people to like your page because if they like your page and they're somebody who's new, they're going to see your posts when you're actually sending them out, or they're, they're going to get um, notifications, uh, or they should do. Okay, but who knows what Facebook are up to? Um, so that's the main thing. Then got that ability once they're in, once they're in your group on your page, whatever it might be, you've then got that ability to follow up with them and send them interesting stuff, and that's the key bit: interesting stuff, not yeah. you want to buy stuff. Yeah. interesting stuff that's going to help them engage so that's the whole point of facebook it's the engagement side so just remind yourself engagement 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 rather than sell 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 yeah because if you're engaging people get interested they like what you're doing and that builds trust why do you need to build trust because if you're ever going to take any money off someone they have to trust you yeah it's simple and that's what your facebook can be it's a it's a great way to build that trust and engagement and then the next one obviously is your email you yeah know, and you're in yeah, do your email marketing, have, make sure you've got an autoresponder in place, um, cr create automations, you know, make sure they're, they're even right down to the way you write your emails as well. I mean, our, <coughs> we're great followers of Frank Kern, aren't we, and uh, keeping it simple and all that sort of stuff. Um, but, you know, that's what he says, keep your business simple. Mm -hmm. So make sure your emails are to the point but create a story in them, but, but make sure you write them the right way as well. And don't have them going right across the page. You need to have short sentences. He was talking about, I remember him talking about some author, Chris, and he said, this guy is a brilliant author because of the way he writes his stories. You know? yeah. And they're easy to read and they're short, they're short um, uh, chapters. They're about two or three pages, chapters long. They're brilliant. You go, you know, even if you want to have a seat, just read a quick chapter. You're not some bloody great long trilogy like Lord of the Rings or something. I'll tell you who it is. Hang on, hang on. I've actually, I've got the, I've got two or Frank three. Frank Kern. Book. said you should read this guy if you want to learn sales copy oh, i've got a sticker over his bloody name now there you go him james patterson yeah there's james another patterson another one. and i've got absolutely millions of james patterson's books up on my bookshelf a couple of others out as well 
Yeah, but but that's the type of thing. So if you do an email marketing, it's got to be simple. It's got to be to the point. You've got to use an, a, a, a headlines, tension, uh, a, a pattern interrupt, tension grabber, qualify your people you're talking to if you've actually got a specific message as well. Don't just, just blurt it out, blurt it out to try and sell to everybody. You know, if you're selling to four or five year olds, say, is your child four to five years old? If it is, if they are, read on. If you're just saying, oh, I've got children's class if you're interested, blah, 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 because then people then you get to the point of it and the sales point and it's for four to five year olds and they're sick, they've got six year old, they just wasted their time and they're not, you know, and your time as well. So you want to qualify because the less is more. Mm -hmm. So less, the less people who are qualified is great because you have more chance to sign them up. It's kind of a funny process, that one. Yeah. And then you've got a remind part, Chris. Yeah. So that's literally about reminding people that you're there, reminding people about the service that you provide, reminding people about the results you get. And so that's mm -hmm. telling stories. You know, it's the wins that your students have. It's the kind of things that are going on at the moment. I mean, all through lockdown, when it started to lift and people were able to get into their classes, it's kind of like tell them about the cleaning. You know, tell them how clean it is. Tell them how amazing it is in your school and how safe everybody is. That's a great story. Yeah. And it's kind of like we're still delivering our service. We're still doing it. We're in lockdown, but hey, we're still doing it. So that's mm. story stuff. That's a constant reminder. Oh, these guys are still there because guess what? You know, all the ones that aren't doing this, well, they've gone, disappeared, disappeared into the ether. And when they suddenly come back and go, oh, I better start marketing again. It's like people will go, yeah, but you've only been here five minutes. Because they haven't right. been there. Do you see what? Do you get that? Well, so you re continuous story, the messaging that's going on. You know, remind people that you're there. Remind people that you're still doing your stuff. So it's really key. Really key. Yeah, yeah. And and you, you know, we've just gone through really what I would say, kind of like a five year learning curve in in nine months. Mm. Okay. Yeah, I don't yeah. know if I went Dalek-y then, but yeah, we we really have gone through that that massive shift in in learning. Uh, mm -hmm. and and changing the way we do business and learning online marketing uh yeah. you wouldn't, wouldn't have learned some of this stuff some of you just wouldn't have learned it anyway because it wasn't important enough now it is and you get it which is great and then number four is uh is convert. for perk is course no convert oh is it all yeah. right courses At some God, point, i'm not listening today of course <laughs> but the point is you've got to convert haven't you at some stage you've got to convert yeah so would leave the door open because if you've gone through this process, right, if you've reminded people about your service, if you've given them all the solutions that you have and they've seen where they can fit into what you offer, convert is really simple because what they do is they say, how can I get involved? Yeah. And that's the key one. I mean, it's, it's one from many, many years ago, and this is the Frank Kern one again. I want to get people happily involved. All right. Happily involved, not forced into buying your stuff. Happily involved. It's like, can I give you some money? Where do I sign? I really want to do this. This looks amazing. This looks fantastic. I can't wait to join you. I mean, so many of the guys I've worked with, I'm like, I, I wish I lived in that part of the country because I want what they've got because mm. the story is so good and what they do is so good and what they deliver mm. is so good. It's like, I want to come and train with you. You're amazing. You know, this, <laughs> that's what it is. It's If you're telling your story well mm. enough, the conversion is really simple because people mm. will come to you and say, where do I sign? What can I yeah. do? I told you about one, one of my guys at the moment, literally terrified of picking his phone up because everybody wants to join. Why? Because he's telling the right story. He's putting up the right stuff on Facebook at the moment, which is all free, it's all organic. And that phone just doesn't stop ringing. Yeah, that's perfect. Um, we've got one more comment coming up. Uh, I don't know what Andrew's on about. He said this. But don't know. We'll have a look, Andrew. <laughs> he's as mad as us. Um, <laughs> Yeah, so um, you can all go and furk off yep. and sort your things out because um, I think that's quite a nice one there. Facebook, email, remind, convert. There you go. Got it right. Yeah. <laughs> that's how new it was because I couldn't remember it. <laughs> it's a new one. Yeah, it's a new one. But um, keep it simple. Um, if you're doing stuff, don't overcomplicate the graphics and things like that. You know, keep, split test things, you know, split test a real simple page with a you know, a picture with a video and see how it converts, you know, do a 50-50 split if you're using click funnels or something like that. And you can see how your message is getting out or what people see and how they relate to a certain uh, keywords as well in, in your in your subject line as well. So um, but you've got to have a lead magnet. That's another subject. That's another one. Yeah, that. Okay, Chris, we better go.
Yeah, we'll talk more about that on Thursday, maybe. Yeah, uh, we've got one more comment coming out. Sorry, man. It's Andrew again. Sorry, man, about marketing even through all of this. Yeah. Uh, yeah, absolutely, mate. Um, let's have a look. Yeah. Spot on, Chrissy. You're spot on. What Andrew hasn't seen, though, are those funny lights you've got that seem to be some sort of antenna. <laughs> Do you want me to show the lights? Chris has a, a electronic lobster in his house. <laughs> There's a story to that as well, but we won't go into it. Silly. Okay, mate. Right. Okay, guys, go and crush it today. And, it today um, and we'll see you all on Thursday. Yeah, have a good one. Give us the thumbs up, Chris. No